Dear Lord, the harvest is plentiful and the workers are few. So our hearts are full today to see these men and women who have answered your call. Thank you for answering our prayers to raise up labors for the harvest field. And we ask, Lord, that you give them everything they need for what lies ahead. When they are called to step out of their comfort zone, give them the faith of Abraham. When they face temptation, give them the integrity of Joseph. When they face hard decisions, give them the wisdom of Solomon. And when their hearts are filled with fear, give them the courage of Esther. Lord, they will face trials, so give them the perseverance of Job. And when life gets busy and they are surrounded by distractions, sit them at your feet and give them the listening ears of Mary. Wake them up every morning with the missionary urgency of Paul. And through it all, above all, give them the heart of Christ. And now, O oh Lord, send them out. Go with them, we ask, as they go to Kansas and to Kentucky and to Kenya and to Cambodia and to the four corners of the earth. May they go with the Bible in one hand and a basin and towel in the other. May they go with your grace and your truth. May they go with the gospel on their lips and the church at their side and the power of the Holy Spirit coursing through their veins. And you go with them, Lord, because we know there are evil forces arrayed against them. March them into the very heart of Satan's territory. Use them as the tip of your spear to pierce the darkness until it bleeds light and may the gates of hell crumble before them. And Lord, through these servants, may the gospel be preached and sin confronted and sinners loved and souls saved and marriages mended and children taught the grieving comfort and then the lonely welcome, the hungry fed, the wounded healed, the communities transformed. May the nations be reached with the good news of Jesus Christ. Use them mightily for your glory and for the world's good and keep them faithful until the day they hear you say, well done. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.